Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a lovely success story from Mercy from Italy. It goes like this. I have a very big success story to share with you. It's so big I feel like you have to know and it is all conscious and I have documented everything so I can prove it to myself. And so when I tell other people about it, I don't want them to think I'm making all this stuff up. I used to feel like this for every success story that I heard. And the one that I saw on your channel. I know the manifesting and awakening life can be a bumpy road. And every once in a while we feel lost. Also because everything happens with divine timing and all in a natural way. So it is good to hear from others their success stories. The first time I was introduced to this way of life was when I was 13. My physics teacher gave me the book The Secret. At the same time, I did not look into it since I grew up in a very Christian family. But I have to say I did keep a tab on things like being positive and every now and then using my imagination. But nothing was conscious. Fast forward 10, 15 years from that time now and I'm currently starting to become an engineer and a totally different person to who I was back then. On the 31st of January my boyfriend broke up with me because I was very very needy. Back then feels so far away. I did not love myself and I thank God he broke up with me because that moment changed my life. So like every girl who does not love herself I did all the wrong things that one should never do. Till the point I even attracted a third party into the picture and thank God at this point I found your YouTubes and started to learn what loving yourself meant. This is not the story I want to talk to you about even if this is a success story on its own because by March 2019 after using the rubbing out on him two times and doing a lot of self-love I got back together with him to the point where he was so much in love with me he did everything I wanted. I will attach a video of my rubbing out technique. It's so funny how I did it. Now around the end of April, I started to notice I was getting really amazing at manifesting things. I did it on small things like someone giving me a pen as a gift or seeing a blue flower. One time I said I saw a pink bus and one to God, whoever a pink bus Whoever saw a pink bus, but I did. Okay, the English is a little bit confusing there. <laughs> so I started questioning if I really loved my ex or was it just my ego that loved him or because I thought I could not get someone better. I started asking myself if I wanted to go out with anyone I could. And I saw a success story on your YouTube channel of a girl that went out with a famous person. And so I asked myself, well, if I want to, I can go out with a famous person too. And the same time, I found out I no longer loved my ex. I just needed him to, before to make me feel loved because I did not love myself. Not that I loved... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Needed him before to make me feel loved because I did not love myself. Not that I loved me, he no longer had a place in my life, so I broke up with him. Okay, around June 2019, I started entertaining the idea of maybe I can go out with anyone I want. Anyone. The story of the girl just kept coming back in my mind from your channel over and over again, but it did not do anything about it. But I did not do anything about it, I think you mean that. On July 2019, one of my good friends asked me if I could go to a concert with her because her friend had cancelled. Even though it is something that I didn't like, I said yes to her to make her happy. She told me the concert was on July 13th in the afternoon and I said, OK. She called me on Friday the 12th to tell me that she had tickets to go be part of a live interview with the band. So we had to go early. Very strange story. I would have said no. Because mostly I work on Saturday mornings, but that morning the mum of the kid I worked for cancelled on me. And I said, yes, we can go. We went to the live interview first. And in that live interview, one of the band members kept looking at me. It is very strange for a famous person to do that. We had an eye contact game for a while 
and at the end of the interview, my friend wanted to take a pic with them. But it is the 13th of July afternoon, the sun was out, almost 216 year old kids were in line to take a picture with the band and I told her, no way, let's just get something to eat and go to the concert. She was disappointed and said yes, so we went to get something to eat, then to the concert around midnight there. There was other, other bands performing and we were dancing. It was a really big concert. At some point from an angle of the stage, I saw this blonde guy from the band we came to see. He was standing waiting for his turn to perform. Then he was no longer there. The crowd was going crazy, me and my friend going crazy. At the same point, I felt a push on my shoulder and I turned around annoyed. And there he was standing in the middle of the crowd, standing next to me. My friend took a picture of me and him and I posted it on Instagram. She pushed me to post it. I did and he texted me and on Instagram and yeah, that was that. I will tell you about this success story if you want to. Okay, then she said she was going to tell me another success story and didn't finish this one until I sent her a, another email saying, can you please finish story number one, Mercy, because people are going to want to know the ending of that story. So she said, my friend took a picture of me and him and I posted it on Instagram, which was where she ended off. And he texts me on Instagram and yeah, that was that. I never wanted to post the picture since I have this really strange thing about my Instagram. I love to post very bright and very organized pictures, but the picture with him was in the middle of a concert at night. But my friend practically forced me to, so I just posted it. He did not like the, my pic or comment on it. The next day, he just started following me on Instagram. Everyone went crazy, by everyone I mean, my sister, my mom and my friends, and they all told me to write to him. Everyone said to me I had to get him, blah, blah, blah. But I had this calmness in me. The fact that he came all the way down from the stage in the middle of the concert, plus him starting to follow me on Instagram was already proof enough for me. So I did not write to him. Everyone said I was crazy. They all told me that I was going to mess up a big thing for myself. The next morning... Text, he texts me on Instagram. Yes, he did it all on his own. I couldn't believe it. We talked for a while and he asked to come, me to come to his other concert. I played around and asked him if he wanted me to come to his concert or to see him. He came out plain clear that the intention was to see me. I went to his next concert, but not his concert. I just met him before the concert and we walked around and talked for more than two hours. Everyone kept staring. Then he asked me out after that and we started going out. There have been many times where people told me, how are you going to handle 16-year-old girls that go after him? And I got lost and started to become needy. But then I started becoming calm and loving myself and letting my true spirit out. Now I can say I am kind of a master at it. <laughs> well, no one is, but I don't let negative thoughts get to me and I have started digging up to all my negative beliefs and pulling them out one by one a proof all of them are wrong and storing them as new and positive beliefs so now I can tell you I'm very happy with him I love me and I love him but I love me more this way I give out the left over love and I don't ask anything in return I will send you the conversation but it is in Italian so you will need help reading it Lovely mercy. What a lovely story and uh, a great relationship success story with a brand new person who is obviously quite well known in Italy. So best to keep him anonymous. But that is lovely. That is a really wonderful story of how working on yourself can then turn things around. So thank you, Mercy, for sending the second part of that story so that I could read it to the viewers today. And I will put down below the Relationship Success Stories playlist for those of you that want to listen to more success stories and also the Self Love Success Stories playlist because that's very important. And also I will put down below some self-love meditations for you, a playlist for you to listen to so you can work on your self-love. 
So lots of love, everyone. And as always, I will see you, you know where and you know when.